It's always a pleasure to acknowledge when I've reached the territory everyone else sits in. And concerning Dynasty, it's been a fun ride with two albums and a generous selection of tracks from each work, but I've now hit the modern day, right? A self-led journey of sorts and one I intended to take with much fervor and admiration, right, on promise. And so far, I've enjoyed every step of the way, as I'm sure many of you have. I know perhaps there are plenty of you who are approaching it on a long time familiarity that advances me with Dynasty, right? They were a recommended name in terms of the comment section, which I take all of your recommendations into consideration, specifically as well along the European metal front, as I am definitely trying to broaden out my exposure and experience of many talented artists. I'd love to highlight with you in the music world, it is the first love of my life amongst artistic languages, and being able to showcase so many talents, I feel quite honored to present to you, maybe in a way that will inspire you in your own journeys of sorts. I love it about music that it can have that mutual potential for enjoyment. Dynasty. I'm a big metalhead, of course, as many of you know, connecting again to the heavy metal and power metal roofs of heavy aggression. I love that. And the connection point with Nils as a vocalist, Nils Molin, who I've investigated in other efforts as well. Maybe some of you have witnessed set encounters with, let's say, collaborations via Ad Infinitum. That was the first entrance via the Afterlife piece, and I recommend that if you've not humored it, or Amaranth for I also love. And really, anything in the Swedish metal vein is just so promising, and Dynasty is just a never attribution to add into that specific landscape. I love the ride in terms of aggressive metal, and Dynasty has delivered a beautiful vocal execution to be expected with Nils, as always. But we've humored two albums with a selection of work. Now we make it to the where everybody else sits. Where you've all been sitting for a while now, a final advent. This is the most recent uh, construction. Looking forward to hearing more on this journey we've been on tonight. It's been a real treat. Let's continue onward. And I believe this is track number one on the album, right? Yes. So this is our interlude. Soft approach. This is typical. I love that. Oh, that's thick. No rules part of the introduction. Forceful. Energetic. Good choices. Oh, I like that attitude. <laughs> that was beautiful. To be expected again with Neil, since so navigation on vocals is always a pleasure. Ah, it's a good line. Inspirational. Beautiful. Timeless theme here in Exploration. I do have a fun ambiance. I love that strumming dance. Again, the synthetic simulator, it's great. Adds again a fun vibe, but it's true to some uh, Swedish metal. Among many groups, but it's cool to see that intrusion of Dynasty. Beautiful eloquence. I just again, I love the feistiness of this number. Oh, that was cool. I like that. Good pacing. A traditional metal breakdown. You know, these are always fun. Again, I love the patterns of what Dynasty has to materialize. It's with such good construction, beautiful structures. And again, that classic, like, historical metal root manifests beautifully. There's another spoken word intro. That was present on the last uh, album, too, with Presence of Mind. I loved it there, too. A beautiful theme relapse. Key change? Let's see. 
There's license for that with Swedish music. And of course, Nils can manage that quite well. Again, the higher range of inflections, the variability. Besides the force, it's a lot of the reason I admire him as a particular talent. That lands well. I love that closure effect too. Again, it's subtle. It reduces the energy, but it's a fitting conclusion. Good drive on that piece of such an inspirational spirit. And as I've said many times, I love catharsis and metal music. It's a routine uh, inclusion that has long fascinated me ever since I became a metal enthusiast. I love that relatability, especially on a human regard. I love the revolutionary attitude of that piece, the fight feel, which meshes great, again, with an aggressive root. The execution, the riff structures, the snares, the electronic simulator are part of the synth integration. It's so organic to the work and seamless. Blended again with Nils' beautiful talents, as always, on vocals. <laughs> it's just always impressive, again, to humor him again. It's, there's such a natural range of inflection. One of my favorite uh, male lead vocalists, for sure. Not just in the metal foray, that's how I've been attributing him mainly, but just in general. I mean, as I've said also previously to Dynasty's credits, you think back into the pieces that formed a love for you, you know, early on in the beginning. Even if you experience them in retrospect, right? Old classic metal hits. Dynasty is just bringing a lot of that back. Even if, again, it's tailored with a modern feel, for sure, with deeply resonant themes and great uh, eloquence and delivery, good theme exploration and investigation. But and this is something I gave to the credit of Nils as well in terms of throwback energy. He just does it automatically. But listening to Dynasty in terms of their entirety as a group and hearing each piece one after the other in isolation, you see that effect materialize beautifully. It's something that has just sat with me on every piece I've humored and what I've entertained with you. It's been a real treat with them. And of course, you know, still, they're great in the me in the modern respect, right? Attractive on that front, for sure. If you love a good, intense metal number, they got that, right? Highly energetic, as you've just witnessed. Paced beautifully, good percussion work, great guitar meshings, good riff patterns, beautiful construction and body to the songs. Highly enticing and invigorating listens, yes. But... They're just charming in terms of when you really dig deep, in terms of what they make you reminisce about and the nostalgic flair that they might have a chance to present to you. I love that connection point of Dynasty. They materialize it beautifully. And to be able to get introduced to them alongside you in terms of first, ent or first entrance, right? It wouldn't be the same to entertain these myself. I mean, going in, yes, it would be with as much promise. Knowing Nils, being familiarized with other ventures, I know what to expect. But the discovery of what we've entertained together from each piece, and seeing the growth and the evolution of Dynasty's talents and ambitions to uh, new ventures has been quite impressive. Just to take in that entire vision, right? It's fun to do it alongside you. I'd love to hear if you share a similar concurrence of opinion in terms of the journey we've taken thus far, and if you have indeed decided to take a parallel standing with me in an introductory affair. Maybe some of you, again, approach from a familiar basis, and of course, I welcome your company, it, you know, from everybody with Dynasty. But if you happen to be of an introductory standing, what were your thoughts on that number? I'd love to hear about it down below. Of course, our journey will not end here with Power of Will, which is such a strong interlude to an album opener. We are going next to, I think, the subsequent track. Yes, Advent. I've heard a lot of promise to that number as well as the following one, Natural Born Killer. Those two sound quite attractive. Advent I'm curious about, but so far, another album launched exquisitely. To be expected with Dynasty. A lot of fun, as always. Real hit number in the rock and uh, metal vein. Strong assertion, as per usual, of Dynasty, and I love every minute of it. I love to hear it even more so with you in terms of fresh presence. Wonderful execution to be expected with Nils, and just great music in general with a deeply resonant theme, and a timeless one. That many artists have spoken of, of course, but it's fun to explore yet again, isn't it? Even if maybe some would say it's a bit traditionalist to do so with such eloquence and brilliance in musical delivery, it makes for a fun ride, and Dynasty always offers that.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.